Good morning, y'all. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is. I think it's about 7 o'clock. Miss Hazel has gotten into this habit of waking up really early. And it's not the waking up that's the problem. It's the getting up and staying up. I, um always use that time when I wake up to have prayer time and then uh, answer comments. And lately, she just wants to get up and she does not want to go back to bed. So we need to make, um, we're getting ready. You can see the trash bags back there. We're getting ready to go to the mailbox and I need to mail out a card. And um, <coughs> um, we've got some water in our street again. I don't know where that's coming from. But um, <coughs> so we're going to, I'm, I mean, I might as well use this time to do something. And we're going to go to the dumpster. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to tell you, and before I do, y'all please don't um, freak out and, um, you know, uh, name off all these things that could be going on or whatever, because, um, you know, I, I take care of myself, but I'm just going to tell you what happened yesterday, and it was really bizarre. Um, <clears throat> not really bizarre, but, well, anyway, I'll just get right into it. My friend John came over for a visit, and we visited for quite a while, and he was getting ready to leave, so, we came outside and we're standing on the patio and I look down and I see uh, a couple of weeds in my ground cover. So um, I bent down. Oh, there's a little hummingbird. Oh, there's a couple of them. Uh-oh, they're chasing each other. Um, I wonder, it's been a long time since um, I've done any research on them. And I'm not sure if they're like territorial or whatever. Now, one of them is back and he's sitting on top of my tomato cage. And they seem to like to sit on that thing. It's rusty. But anyway, I'm sorry. You know, I'm easily distracted. And um, so anyway, I bent down and I was picking a couple of weeds and then... John saw one, so he was doing it, and I got back up, and I got so dizzy, and so I tried to grab on to the patio, one of the patio posts, and I couldn't get there in time, and I just passed out, and bam, hit the ground. And when I came to, I was lying on the ground and my glasses were all crooked. And um, John, I could hear John saying, Deborah, did you have a stroke? Do I need to call an ambulance? He was so freaked out. I think he was more freaked out than I was. And so he helped me to get up and I surely hope my little dress I had on uh, didn't go up over my uh, head. And um, so he helped me up. He pulled out one of my rocking chairs. And, um, and I sat down and I, you know, I felt fine. And he was still freaking out. He said, you hit that ground so hard. And your head just missed the concrete. Well, you know what? I was just thanking God 
that um, I landed on my ground cover. Y'all, that stuff is, it's pretty cushy. And, um, and that I didn't hit my head on the concrete. Now, my left side, I have to tell you, is sore today. Um, and I knew it would be. <coughs> but, um, so I finally, I got back up and John put my, um, rocking chair back. And he's getting ready to leave. And I'm standing by my front steps, and all of a sudden, I just got that horrible uh, feeling like I was going to pass out. So, I just backed up and kind of fell and sat down on my steps, and I didn't pass out. So, again, John was kind of freaking out like he needed to call an ambulance. And I said, John, look at my face. I'm going to smile. Does one side of my mouth not, you know, cooperate? And so I smiled and he goes, no, it looks fine. I said, I didn't have a stroke. It's just dizziness for some reason. Now, um... I went back in the house and, um, you know, I took it easy, got something to eat, something to drink, and um, played solitaire. So, y'all, if this happens again, I will definitely go see my doctor. But I've ha I, the last time I had this... Not just, this was not like a little dizziness. I mean, this was like pretty gross is the only way I can explain it. But anyway, um, if it happens again, I will definitely go see my doctor. Um, the first thing, oh my gosh, y'all, I love to watch these little guys. Um, the only thing. Uh, thing that she would do is ask me some questions. Nothing has changed. My diet hasn't changed. Uh, but here is something that has changed. Now, y'all, since I've pretty much gotten my yard and Stephanie's little strip done, I am not nearly as active as I was. And um, that's evident because I have gained a few pounds. And you know that I was really, there was a period I was working really hard in my yard and in Stephanie's yard. And, you know, I was very, very active. So that's the only thing that has changed. I've started sitting on my behind much more than I was. Now, what happens uh, when you are going to faint or pass out, however you want to say it, is your blood pressure goes way down. And so, I used to get dizzy. Oh, there is one more thing that's changed. And I'm going to blame it on this. When I used to go shopping... And I would bend down to look at or get something from the bottom shelf, and I would raise up, I would get dizzy. So, scientifically, I think I'm not shopping enough. <laughs> I think. To get this under control, I need to get myself out to uh, a few thrift stores and that'll and find some weeds in someone else's yard to pull. But um, seriously, though, a couple weeks ago, um, my psychiatrist had ordered up a bunch of blood work for me. I did a fasting sugar. And they checked, like, everything. Vitamin D levels, all that stuff. And that was a couple weeks ago. And they have not called me, which they would have 
if they had found a problem in my blood work. And that includes my um, thyroid. So that part is fine. And you guys, the only thing that's different, there's two of them sitting on that. I wonder why they like that. Oh, I know why. Because the diameter of the little metal on the tomato cage is small enough that they can grip that. See, if you just look at something long enough, you can usually figure it out. Now, you know what? I'm going to tell you. I changed one of my hummingbird feeders to just the plain sugar and water with no red in it. They don't seem to like that as much. But so many of y'all think that's healthier for them. So, you know, that's what, I, what I'm doing. But anyway... Um, so my blood work and everything was fine. And um, the last time this happened to me was a long time ago when my ex-husband and I lived in Washington. I was passing out and that's when I chipped my tooth. And that, come to find out, was because of a medication that I had started taking. And so when they switched my medication, I was fine. So, none of my medication is different. Uh, a few, a couple of months ago, um, we actually lowered one of them. I'm sorry, y'all. I keep looking off to the side because these little guys are so cute. Not that you're not cute, but you know I can't see you. But anyway, nothing has changed except my activity level level and when we went outside it wasn't hot so it wasn't the heat so anyway just know I do care about my health and what's going on so if it was more than you know kind of a one-time thing and that thing that happened with me being dizzy and sick at my stomach we know that was that laxative i took which this was not the case so anyway i just thought i'd share that with you guys and i understand that um you guys may have known someone before that this happened to, and it turns out they had a problem with their heart or blood pressure or whatever. I, I get that. Now, they take my blood pressure every time I go to the doctor, which is once a month. There's never a problem with my blood pressure. I've always had good blood pressure blood pressure um so that's monitored closely so i don't know y'all maybe i need to get up off my lazy butt and find somebody that will let me do some yard work for them there is a lady um that's on the schedule for the gardeners to uh do some work in her yard but maybe I will go see Shelly and see if she would mind if I came and did some yard work for her. My back is sore, y'all. My, my left side is pretty sore. I don't think you can see my... Can y'all see my knee? Scratched up my little knee. Um... But nothing major, you guys. I felt fine the rest of the day. But, you know, I just was... John might have thought I was a little, I don't know, out of it. Because as soon as I was able to get up, I was just like, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That, you know, I didn't hit my head on the concrete. I didn't break anything. I didn't sprain anything. 
and y'all know that this is my uh, wrist that I broke, but I'm fine. I'm fine, you guys. Yes, I'm drinking water. I'm eating. Uh, nothing has changed except my activity level. Maybe it's laziness. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. You know, I share everything. And so I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to be keeping a close watch on what's going on with my body. And um, I will definitely be more careful about getting down and then getting up too fast. So I hope y'all do something fun today. It's really cloudy out, but I think that's because of the time of day it is. Yeah, you little stinker. You curl up and take a nap now, not when I wanted to go back to bed, but if it's cool enough, I'm probably going to bake something. I haven't baked anything in a couple of days. What is today anyway? Monday. So, um, tomorrow evening is bingo, and I hope Leo's going to be home. So, or cool enough so Hazel can be in her playpen while Carol and I go play bingo. Um, I just enjoy that, y'all. I always have. And um, so, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. And I'm definitely, I've already done something fun today, you guys. And that's watch watching my little hummingbirds. There's just one guy now, and he and he's sitting on the tomato cage, and he flies around a little bit, but he doesn't go to the feeder. I wonder if he can hear me, and that's kind of freaking him out, because he keeps flying around a little bit, but he keeps landing on the tomato cage. Well, I'm going to go to the dumpster and um, the mailbox, and maybe that'll give him a chance to eat. Love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye now.